guys, it's Joan at Ten Pentacles Tarot, and today I'm going to review for you the Alchemy Elementals deck. This is a very interesting, and and it's 2022, so it's not even a year old, um, and it is by Shaman Durek. Now, Shaman Durek uh, is a sixth generation shaman, and he wrote this book called Spirit Hacking as well, and this book... Um, was published in 2019. So he did the book first and then the the uh, Oracle deck. It says, Shamanic Keys to Reclaim Your Personal Power, Transform Yourself, and Light Up the World. So if you'd like me to do a... Um, and it's published by St. Martin's Essentials. And here's a picture of Shaman Durek. He seems like a really interesting person. Um, it is... Uh, he shares life-altering shamanic keys, allowing you to tap into your personal power and banish fear and darkness from your life. Now, if you would like me to do a review of this book, I will be happy to do that. I have not finished reading it yet, so you might have to give me a little while, but I'll be happy to do it. So there's that. And then let's take a look at this deck. Now, this is a super in-depth deck. It is. It comes in a big box. This is 12 by 8. Um, it's a magnetically sealed box on the side. Uh, magnetically sealed and it says a tool for planetary healing visionary art by Jason McDonald and um, the back looks like this it says uh, alchemy elemental superhuman spirit enhancing technology alchemy elementals is a shamanic toolkit specifically intended to level up your whole life cultivate your own spiritual powers and your own abilities as a quantum creator including re including remembering how magic is created and how magical we human beings truly are and um, this uh, deck is also published by saint martin's essentials and it's 39.99 in the u.s and 52.99 in canada and um, for those of you who are thinking that's a high price, um, honestly, a lot of tarot decks, especially ones with uh, very um, nice packaging, are that price. So it's not really, I think it's a good value. Um, this came on the back when it was wrapped in plastic. It says includes a 128-page guidebook and 88 cards, a revolutionary new tool for spiritual, spiritual growth and evolution. So I'm not going to read all that again. But that came with it on the back. And um, let's take a look at the cards. Uh, well, let's take a look at the guidebook first. So it opens like this. And then we have this nice, also 12 by 8 guidebook. And um, this is what the front looks like. And the back looks like this. All right, now, it look, it's a pretty matte finish. I know it looks uh, a little bit glossy with my light there, but that's a strong light, so. All right, let's take a look. This is what it looks like inside. I'm trying to get it so you can see best. All right, so we have um, publisher information. Like I said, it was published in 2022. Table of contents, introduction, and I love this. Um, First part, it says, I was living in Istanbul, enjoying my breakfast on the balcony overlooking the Bosporus Strait when the spirits came to me and told me it was time to create a deck. Seriously, I blurted into my Turkish coffee. It's not like I was trying to disrespect my guides or anything. It's just that I'd always been hesitant about creating my own cards. I'd seen so many people in the spiritual community offering decks that didn't spark for me. Okay, so it, it goes on. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but it's... Very interesting. And then um, he's talking about how he did the shamanic toolkit, the elements, elements 101, um, alchemy elementals, a tool for planetary healing. So this is all about how he um, created the deck. And then it's how to use this deck. Observation versus analyzation. Activating the cards. There's an activation blessing. Um, and a next level alchemy elementals activation. And then it says Alchemy's and Elementals Cast of Spirits. And now we have the cards, and they're broken up into the elements of fire, um, fire, water, sky, and land. And um, the fire section, uh, each section is, is further broken down. So we have volcano, and then for each um, volcano card, we have moon, sun, star, and land, I believe. 
and then we oh earth sorry and then we go to tribal fire moon sun star and earth and wildfire moon sun star and earth and so on and each card um has a, there's a black and white picture of the card and then there is um the the category of the card and then the title of the card well wildfire moon and then um, there is the description so at the end i'll do a one card reading so you can see how the book is written to see how you relate to it so we go through all of the fire cards this way and then we're going to get to the water cards and the water cards are done the same way they're broken into ocean moon sun star and earth and then river spring lake waterfall and then we get to um, the element of sky and i believe that is done the same way with um we have snow moon sun star and earth right and then we have wind lightning storm rainbow and then we come to this to the element of land and we have mountain cave tree flower animal and then we come to the trinity cards now the trinity cards uh, represent the three main themes human beings incarnate to learn about love wisdom and power in shamanism we're taught that while each soul inevitably journeys along all three paths during their earth walk there is one specific theme that will be emphasized throughout the li this lifetime all right and it goes on about that so we have love wisdom power and then the five pillars represent the five bodies that comprise the human vessel or what he calls the biological space suit. And we have the physical, the emotional, the mental, um, the spiritual, and the fifth element. So that's a whole lot of information. I can see how it would take me a long time to really get in depth with this. And I really hope to do it sometime because I like this a lot. Okay, and then we have, um, there are 13 alchemy elemental spreads that they give you. Elemental of the day, medicine pool, uh, more energetic flow layout, a healing circle, and so on. There's a five card celestial spread. And anyway, there are 13 of those. And then it gives you some spirit enhancer rituals, how to turn your home into a manifestation chamber, um, the breakup clearing, message from the ancestors, and a prosperity ritual. And then we have a card index. All right, so that is the book. And there's several blank pages in the back. It doesn't specific... Oh, I missed one. About the creators of the alchemy elemental. So we have um, a paragraph about Shaman Durek and a paragraph about Jason McDonald, who is a visionary artist, healer, spiritual guide, and energetic intuitive. All right, he had... This is interesting. He had a 20-plus career in graphic design, creative direction, and entrepreneurship. All right, so that is the hefty, um, bendy... Alchemy Elemental Guidebook. All right, now let's look at the cards. Wait till you see the colors on these cards. They're just gorgeous. Okay, so the box is divided into four sections. It's completely black inside. Um, and then uh, each section has its own... Um, each box... Sorry, each element has its own section and then the trinity cards are put along with the um, land cards now i'll be honest with you these are not the easiest it's not the easiest to get these out of the box and i kind of don't love that um, i'm not sure after i get going with them that i'd actually keep them in this box because it is kind of big but you know that's would be of course up to you so just Bear with me while I get them all out. And then we got the last of them. And I kind of fudge around with this to get them out easier. All right, here we go. All right, so let me set this aside along with the guidebook because we're going to be doing a reading here in a minute, a few minutes. Because this is an 88 card deck, so this may take a few minutes to get through. Let me, excuse me, sorry about that. Okay, so. This is what the cards look like on the back. They're glossy. And we'll see how they shuffle. Can you see that? And then, um, of course, the cards are glossy also. And this is how the size... Oh, and it's a... You know, 
it's a, actually a thin to medium weight cardstock, um, but it's nicely done. Not not cheap by any means. Um, but like this is a little thicker. My my Radiant Rider weight deck's a little bit thicker. So let's look at the size. So um, the cards are about three quarters of an inch wider and three quarters of an inch longer than uh, my standard Radiant Rider weight Smith deck. And let's take a look at each card individually. I was really um, impressed by the. I just love the artwork and this. The colors are gorgeous. All right, so we have. Fire Volcano Moon, Fire Volcano Sun, Fire Volcano Star, Fire Volcano Earth, Fire Tribal Fire Moon. I'll just say the part. So each card has a number at the top for its element, and then it'll tell you what element, fire, and then what, um, I, I guess, division of the element. This is Tribal Fire, and then um, which... Um, Hard it is okay so we have tribal fire sun tribal fire star tribal fire earth uh, wildfire moon wildfire sun wildfire star wildfire earth um, and then we have ancestor fire moon ancestor fire sun it's so nice to have my window open. I can hear I can hear a woodpecker out there. Ancestor Fire Star. Ancestor Fire Earth. And then Candle Moon. Candle Sun. Candle Star. Candle Earth. And then we have Water. Now we're going to the uh, element of water. Water and Ocean Moon. Ocean Sun. Ocean Star, Ocean Earth, River Moon, River Sun, River Star, and River Earth. And then we have um, Spring Moon, Spring Sun, Spring Star, and Spring Earth. We have Lake Moon. Lake Sun, Lake Star, Lake Earth, Waterfall Moon, Waterfall Sun, Waterfall Star, Waterfall Earth, Snow Moon, Snow Sun, Snow Star, and Snow like a stargate that's cool snow earth and then we come to the element of of wait what did i do here oh water oh we've been in sky for a while i'm sorry sky started with sky started with um snow and moon okay so snow is the first one in sky then we got wind moon wind sun wind star and wind earth and then we have lightning moon lightning sun lightning star lightning earth and then we have storm moon storm sun storm star storm earth let me try to adjust my arm here a little bit Okay, and then we have sky, uh, oh, rainbow moon, rainbow sun, rainbow star, and rainbow earth. Then we go to land. Okay, so this is the element of land, um, or the elemental. Okay, mountain moon, mountain sun, mountain star. Mountain Earth, and again, I'm not too familiar with his, um, you know, his uh, language or how he does it. The, the purpose of this video is to show you how cool this is, and to see if this, to let you, you know, get an idea if you think this is something interesting. Because most people don't want to just more spend forty dollars if they don't think they're going to like something. You really, you know. So I think this will be helpful for you. Okay, so we have 
cave moon, cave sun, cave star, and cave earth. We have um, tree moon, tree sun, tree star, and tree earth. And then we have flower moon, flower sun, flower star, flower earth. And then we have animal moon, cool, animal sun, animal star, and animal earth. And then finally we have the um, Trinity cards. We have love, power, wisdom. And then we have um, the uh, physical, emotional, mental, spiritual, and fifth element. All right, so those are the, look at the colors. They're just gorgeous. Okay, and I think the black um, border really brings out the colors. All right, so let me see how they shuffle. These are really going to be, I'm not going to be able to do the um, riffle shuffle because honestly, they're too big for my hands. So let's just do a sideways riffle and we'll see. We'll do a one card. We'll pull a card and see what Spirit wants to tell us through this deck today. Hopefully you've gotten an idea of this as a deck that's for you, if it's something you'd like to explore. So. Okay, Spirit, what does the viewer need to think about today? What do these cards have to say? Okay, so let's give the one that went upright, which is... Um, land, animal, star. All right, so let's see how easy it is. There, there it is up close. Land, animal, star. So let's see if I can find that easily. Um, it's card number 79. So let me see if the pages are here. Um, Not sure if that's a page number. No. Okay. So let me see if the pages are listed in the front. Otherwise, we'll just have to flip through and find it. Okay, yeah. Card. See, the, it has the card index with the card number on it, but it doesn't actually. So the number is 79. So let's just flip through and see. Land. There it is. Okay, so this is Land Animal Star, number 79. If you are interested in uh, numerology, 79 could be the number, or 16, okay, or even um, 7. All right, here we go. Shamans have long revered sacred animal totems for their strength, their power, their wisdom, and their magic. All people have their own sacred animal totems that govern their lives. The gifts, behaviors, and characteristics of these animals guide you and bless your path. Notice the animals that appear in your life and that visit your dreams. When you close your eyes and ask your animal totems to show themselves to you, which are the first to show up? Are there any animals you feel an affinity for or that pop into your mind as you read these words? These are your animal totems, child. Trust in the messages and in the medicine they hold for you. They are your allies. They hold the wisdom that will guide you on your journey here. All right, so that is what our um, card says for the day. If you are interested in looking up spirit animals or animal totems, there are actually a lot of books about that. Um, I have some. If you'd like to see those, let me know, and I can do a video on that. that will be, um, you know, I'd be happy to do that. All right, so let's rebox and see how this goes. I'm just going to have to estimate how many cards go in each section because obviously we shuffled and they're not in order anymore. So... Well, that's not so bad. Look, that's pretty easy. All right, so let's do this. I'm going to put this nice, nice description page in here. And, friends, that was my review of Shaman Durex Alchemy Elementals deck. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing to my channel. If you have any comments, please comment below. Um, 
If you hit the notification bell, you can be notified whenever a new video is uploaded and you won't miss any. So I really appreciate um, you being here with me. I value you more than you'll ever know. I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever it is where you are. And I hope to see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.